Let's recall how we multiply decimals. We will right now just multiply as though they are whole numbers. So we'll have 1 times, I'll think of it as 102, and that is 102. I'll have 0 times that, and I'm going to go ahead and write down a few zeros, really as placeholders. And then I'll have 4 times 2, which is 8. 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 1 is 4. Make sure you line things up nicely, and then I'll have 2, 0, 8 and 1 is 9, 0, and then 4. The question is, where do we place the decimal point in the product? Notice there's one decimal place here, there's two decimal places here, one decimal place, two decimal places, that sum is three, so we need to make sure that our ending result has three decimal places. To do so, I'll put the decimal point right there. It's 40 and 902 thousands, and hopefully this makes sense to you, because notice that this number is close to 10, this number is close to 4, 4 times 10 is 40, and this product is, of course, close to 40.